Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck, this one featuring a bunch of the new Anthology expansion cards which just released and I've played a bunch of different brews already with the new cards and this was one of the decks that stood out the most. A deck I like to call Giant Ranger as we're playing the full playset of Ranger of Eos, one of the new cards alongside a bunch of giants from Throne of Aldrain. Ranger of Eos a 4 mana 3-2 human soldier that when it enters the battlefield lets us search our library for up to 2 creature cards with converted mana cost of 1 or less, reveal them and put them into our hand. And to go alongside our Ranger of Eos, we've got a nice selection of 1 mana cards, including another new card here, Dragon Master Outcast, a 1 mana 1-1 one, one human shaman that says at the beginning of our upkeep, if we control 6 or more lands, we get to make a 5-5 five, five red dragon creature token with flying. So the late game of getting Dragon Master Outcast and making a bunch of dragon tokens is very powerful, especially now in a metagame where Field of the Dead got unbanned in Historic, and you can expect to face a lot of 2-2 two, two zombie tokens on the ground, being able to make those 5-5 five, five flying dragons is a great way to close out the game. And then another great one drop to search up with Ranger is Edgewall Innkeeper, which of course plays quite nicely with all these adventure creatures in the deck, drawing a card with each one being cast. And then the final one drop that we can search up is Giant Killer, which of course has great synergy with our Edgewall Innkeeper as another adventure creature, and can also double up as removal or a tapper to tap down an opposing creature. There might be a little bit of tension here between a Giant Killer and all the giants that we're playing in this deck, but uh, it's still worth it. And then we also have a ton of flexibility with the Ranger as we now get to either find a card draw engine, we can find a finisher in the outcast if we have six lands, or we can potentially find a removal spell in Giant Killer, and we can kind of mix and match. Sometimes we want to get one of each. And then to go alongside our Edgewell Innkeeper, we've got a bunch more adventure creatures, four copies of Bone Crusher Giant, which we can also use to deal two damage first, and then the full playset of Lovestruck Beast, which can make a 1-1, and then a 5-5 five, five creature that can only attack if we control a 1-1 one, one creature, which also pairs well with our Dragon Master Outcast and the Edgewall Innkeeper, of course. And then we also have the full playset of Beanstalk Giant, which is also quite good in this deck as it helps us get an extra land in play, which can speed up the process of getting 5-5 five, five Dragon Tokens with the Dragon Master Outcast and then later another big threat that can help us close out the game. And then to go with all these giants, or beanstalk giants, and or bone crusher giants, we also have two copies of realm cloak giants as another adventure that can destroy all non-giant creatures, so shines against some of the creature matchups. And then afterwards we still get a 7-7 Vigilance. And then tying the deck together perfectly is Escape to the Wilds, which is a card that's great alongside Adventures, because one of the issues with Escape potentially is that if you exile a lot of expensive cards, you might not be able to play all of them before they go away. But with so many cheap adventures, like the Bone Crusher costing 2 mana, the Lobster Beast 1 mana, Beanstalk 3 mana, we can often uh, make use of every single card that gets exiled. And now with the Dragon Master Outcast as well, it's only a single mana to get that in play, while it still represents a very real danger for the opponent that they will have to answer. So that's another great combo with Escape to the Wilds. And then looking at our mana base, we're prioritizing untapped green sources, to be able to play the actual Innkeeper on turn 1, which is our preferred play, as well as adventuring the Lovestruck Beast. So we are prioritizing the Green Shockland, so we've got 4 Stomping Ground, 4 Temple Garden, as well as 4 Basic Forests. Needs a lot of basics, of course, for the Beanstalk Giant as well. So we've got 4 Forests, 3 Mountains, 3 Plains, as well as 4 Fable Passage to surge them up. And then our last land is 4 copies of Clifftop Retreat, so that if we play a turn 1 Temple Garden or a turn 1 Stomping Ground, this can come into play untapped and give us access to maybe a turn 2 Bone Crusher Giant or a turn 2 Giant Killer after we play a couple Innkeepers to draw some cards. And then a total of 26 lands, since our deck is pretty mana hungry, we want to make sure we get up to 6 mana for those uh, Dragon Master Outcasts, so don't really want to miss a land drop. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw, with uh, reasonable hands, do need to find a third land eventually. But for now we've got Innkeeper and Lobstruck Beast. I guess we can adventure this and then next turn play Innkeeper, play Giant Killer. Aha, Field of the Dead deck. This is definitely where the outcast shines, being able to make 5-5 five, five dragons that fly over a horde of zombies. A 
Risen Reef. Can stomp that. Disfigured innkeeper, fair enough. So get in for three, play a lobster beast, I guess. And then I'm not in a hurry to play Escape to the Wilds, better to wait until we have more mana. Although Yarok is a problem. That's uh, pretty scary with double field of the dead, especially. I guess we can tap it down with the giant killer. Get in for seven. Still okay, I guess. And then we'll thin out the deck a bit. Sir opponent's down to four. And yeah, with double Field of the Dead, they can't make any zombies yet, although double Age and a Treachery trigger with Yarok is pretty painful. And gets in for three. There's Outcasts, could be the saving grace. I guess we can still escape to the wilds first. And then this doesn't kill Yarok, but Realm Cloak Giant could clean up the board next turn. So I guess I'll wait on the outcasts. Although making a 5-5 dragon as early as possible is not bad with double field of the dead looming. I think I'll wait. And then for now I can just use Giant Killer to tap down Yarok to prevent any life gain. Uro with Yarok in place, pretty brutal too. Rejuvenator, sure. So now the Lovestruck Beast can also attack. I probably still tap down Yarok to prevent the life gain. Still seems a little more important. And then I can just chump the Lovestruck Beasts. And take two from Agents. So we'll wipe the boards, and then I want to make sure I can still play Giant Killer, Innkeeper, and Dragon Master. Should have just enough. Alright, that was loud. I'll probably have to turn down the sound effect in post. Alright, Dragon Master Outcast, save us. Murder Strider, ouch. It's too bad. Alright, so Ranger of Eos is probably our best draw now. Can get two more outcasts. Opponent can escape Uro. Although we can tap it down with the Giant Killer so it doesn't attack and trigger. Makes a couple more zombies. 
Alright, can also just kill Uro. I guess that's fine too. More giant killers. I guess we'll start here. Alright, outcast. Great. I guess I can just play a giant killer at this point. Ranger of Eos can get our last two copies of Outcast. So we might still have a chance. Triple Field of the Dead. At least in the Sultai colors they shouldn't have too many sweeper effects as opposed to some of the Golos versions with white mana. Get our first dragon. Yeah, let's ranger it up. And don't think we're attacking. Draws with Arch. This figure is one of them. And make some more zombies. Tap one down. So, make some trades, take four, seems okay. Start by casting one of our creatures, draw a card. I guess I can thin out the deck first with the passage. I can double activate giant killers. So I'm probably fine to attack with the dragon token. And then we should have enough to kill them next turn. If nothing strange happens. Scries with a castle. One top, one bottom. Uh oh. What is this? Yarok can be good for us. A lot of zombies. But our opponent is empty handed. So I think they're dead. One card left after drawing with Arch, but only four mana. So don't see them uh, beating our dragons. All right, sweet. So managed to beat the Field of the Dead on to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a reasonable opening hand. So turn one, probably just gonna adventure the beasts. Not in a hurry to play the outcasts. 
but I could play it now. And then turn three I can decide between the beast or adventuring the beanstalk to speed up or outcast facing Esper control. I could technically even go beanstalk, get a mountain, play the outcast, but that would be pretty bad in the face of a Chaos Wrath or some other sweeper in two turns. So I guess for now we'll just play the beasts. And then if uh, the fairy shows up, it's not too bad. Water grave untapped, and there's the fairy. Let's slow this down. Bounces the beast. Ooh, ranger is nice. So now we can take out the fairy. Play ranger, getting probably a couple innkeepers. And then I have the option of Innkeeper plus Lovestruck Beast draw cards. Can maybe Beanstalk first to develop our mana. Thought Erasure can have a look. They could just take the Lovestruck Beast as a cheap adventure to go with their Innkeepers, but they just take an Innkeeper. Could be double Thought Erasure here. Nope, just a one. All right, I think I like Beanstalk and then I don't need to add anything else to the board since we'll have six lands for the outcasts. But I'm not gonna overextend, so I'll keep the second outcast in hand. And then I guess Mountain's fine. Because yeah, next turn we're threatening to uh, make a dragon. I guess I could play the second adventure too here. And get a planes. Because if they don't wipe the boards, they're in trouble. Finally, making two soldier tokens, that's fine. So we get our first dragon, don't really have to play anything. I guess I'll just play the beanstalk to use my mana and I don't really care if that ends up dying to a sweeper. Ah, cleansing Nova destroys all creatures, that's fine. And then now I can go innkeeper, play giant killer. Draw cards. And then... How about... I adventure and play the beast and pass? Could also add the uh, outcast, but that might be overkill. Probably want to thin out the deck before we draw a card here. Alright, now that we drew escape, I don't think I mind playing outcast, because if they do have another sweeper, I still have plenty of ways to recover. Although it could be bad if they have like a 4 mana sweeper plus a 3 mana counter spell. But we also have to think about the search for a Skanta that's about to transform. So I can't really sit here forever, because the Skanta could definitely beat me going late. Binding, okay. Goes after the beasts. Get another dragon. So, can attack with everyone. Probably play the beanstalk. Because if they have a counter spell, I don't want escape getting countered. Could still play the second innkeeper first. If I adventure this three, 
I'll be one short of casting the giants. Yeah, we'll just play this. So multiple threats they have to deal with. They're gonna activate Oskanta. Can they find the Chaos Wrath? They don't, and they pack it in. All right, sweet. So a Ranger of Eos finding those innkeepers early on was definitely a big game, and then uh, the Outcast was able to close out the game as well. So seeing the new cards in action. All right, we're on the draw. Can probably keep this. Pretty likely to draw a third land, and in the meantime we can use our Lovestruck Beast and Bone Crusher. Facing another Naya deck. And Thunderherd Migration, so a Naya Dinosaur deck. Alright. Forerunner, pretty good. Can clean up all these 1-1s, one so it's very good against Dragon Master Outcast as well. So an Enrage Synergy deck. I could wait for them to deal one damage to everything to then Bone Crusher clean up the Forerunner. Might be my game plan. Needle Tooth, yep. I guess I can attack for one. See what they do. Opponent takes it. I guess I don't have to keep a Bone Crusher now, because I'll probably play around it and just uh, use the Beanstalk for now. And then now could Beanstalk again, and then I'll still have three mana left over, which is enough for Adventuring the Beast keeping a Bone Crusher Giant. Don't really want to play Beast since it dies to the Needle Tooth. Although we could also Bone Crusher Needle Tooth, but I think the Forerunner is kind of the bigger issue at the moment. And I don't really mind if they want to kill my 1-1 uh, one -one token. Aegisaur. That happens. Forerunner is a May ability. So I need to make sure they deal the damage first. And then in response to the Enrage triggers, we can finish off the Forerunner. Giant Killer is great too, although it doesn't kill anything at the moment. So, can just put these Lovestruck Beasts out there as a distraction. Seems fine. Could have also cast Beanstalk. Couple hatchlings. Well, if they top deck a sword tooth dealing one damage to everything, we could be in trouble. So I don't know if I want to commit to the outcast quite yet. Maybe just play Beanstalk and take it from there. And hope they run out of one damage effects by the time we play the outcast. Nothing. Could also escape. Could play another Beanstalk. Got some options. 
Let's uh, escape. Our own cloak giant's gonna be pretty huge. So I can play Bone Crusher to set up for it. Alright, Savage Stomp. So, it's 4 damage plus 5 damage to take out Beanstalk. Yeah, I think I'm still down to cast this Realm Cloaked. And then leave up uh, enough red mana so I can cast my Outcasts. Maybe I should only play one, so if they do have one damage to everything, I don't get uh, blown out. Uh, this seems okay. I'll let them deal with the first outcast. Ribjaw Raptor we can kill. And that's gonna do it. Could have also played that Shockland untapped in case they want a uh, dinosaur into a fight spell, so we could use the giant killer in response. But uh, yeah, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with uh, a reasonable hand. Don't have much ramp, so we might end up getting innkeepers with the ranger. But time will tell. Not in a hurry to play the giant killer. So turn one, probably just gonna fetch so we get that out of the way. And then either get a forest or a second white source. Let's go get a forest. Probably worth it to take two in case we need to stomp something. Might just stomp anyways, just so we can play the giant. It's a fine target, I guess. Some sort of Golgari Graveyard deck. I am putting an extra card in their graveyard, but it's also a 3-power creature that could block the Bone Crusher. And the next turn Ranger could just get double Innkeeper. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll keep the giant on defense. Don't really want to attack into the supplier necessarily. Vraska. Good way to kill our innkeepers too. But they're gonna take out the giants, so... Got a turn where we get to have some fun with our innkeepers. Could also stomp Vraska before it goes out of range. And then just play two innkeepers without drawing anything. I mean, I guess I'm pretty likely to draw land of two draw steps. So we can be a little greedy. Alright, perfect. And then I'll just play defense. And then next turn, double outcast. Could start making dragons. Fine broker finds... Vraska. Could find a fine broker, but that's a little slow. Yeah, I guess we'll just uh, play giant and double outcasts.
and hopefully one of the outcasts survives and we can start making dragons. Well, apparently both of them survive and our opponents can beat it, so sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Doubling Keeper into Beanstalk. Ranger can also just find a Giant Killer to trigger the two Innkeepers we have. So could maybe go one Giant Killer, one Dragon Master Outcast. Well, if they're playing Goblin Chain Warlords, we could be in a bit of trouble. But uh, hopefully that's not the case. Alright, I think I'm down to just cast a giant and draw two cards as opposed to adventuring the beanstalk. At least get a bit of value in case of a chain whirler. Alright, no chain whirlers, that's good. So now what? Play ranger gets... Some Dragon Master Outcasts. Spit Flame, the Bone Crusher Giants. Okay. So, opponents on some sort of Dragon Tribal deck, perhaps. Well, we can also make dragons. So, let's get one Outcast and one Giant Killer. And then next turn with the Beanstalk I can get up to 6 mana for the Outcast. They might be playing with uh, Storm's Wrath. Instead it's gonna be a Sarkon. You will feel the lick come to me. Makes 2 mana. And a Dragon Egg, alright. Very flavorful. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Can attack Sarkon for a bunch. And then go Beanstalk. Play Innkeeper. Play Outcast, play Giant Killer. It's pretty efficient. I guess we'll start by attacking. They can potentially play a pretty big dragon next turn using the ability on Sarkon. I guess what I can do is still just Innkeeper into Giant Killer and then see if we can find Stomp and then still go Beanstalk into Mountain for Outcast. Since I kind of want to get double red anyways, so it's probably the better sequencing. Alright. A big dragon we can handle with our uh, Realm Cloak Giants. Can also tap it down with the Giant Killer. A Sweeper would be pretty bad. But then they might have played it already if they had one. It's gonna be 5 mana Sarkon. Alright, uh, static ability on Sarkon's pretty good. They have two dragons, so can't really attack them with our smaller creatures. Giant Killers, not bad. So, can kill the bigger dragon. Play this draw three. And there's a stomp, perfect. And then, I guess I can still adventure the Lobstruck Beast as well. And we'll take out both Sarkons and uh, yeah, opponent has to pack it in. Really seeing the synergies in action here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. 
probably just adventure the beasts. Turn two can play in keeper plus fetch a planes. That also works. So that's the drawback of not playing innkeeper first. So do I just risk it? I think I still play the passage. Wanna make sure I can play a 3-drop, otherwise we're gonna be a little bit too far behind. That's fine. So, I guess we're not using Fertile Footsteps. So a red-white Thalia deck. Taranika can be pretty good. For now, I guess I can Fertile Footsteps, get a Forest, play Innkeeper. And then I don't really feel inclined to attack. And then Ranger can get double outcast and we can play them both next turn. I see I can naming human. Alright, so let's see how they deal with Outcasts. Answer, they don't. Alright, Outcast claims another victim. On to the next one. Seems good. So can stomp the token next turn. Can ramp with the beanstalk. Probably just play the Lovestruck Beast on defense. I guess Bone Crusher also works. If they have a Vivian next turn, I guess they get to trample over regardless. This seems like a matchup for Giant Killer. We're doing okay here. Start ramping. And next turn we'll get to six. Keeper. So I can go Beanstalk, get a land. Hmm. I guess we'll be one short of also playing Innkeeper. But it's probably still the priority. Play 
lane seems fine. Can go Ranger, get double outcasts, and then Ranger can chump Yorvo, Dragon goes in front of one of these two, and then we make infinite dragons. That sounds kind of fun. Pretty decent. Take five. Now what? If I take two, I can play Beanstalk Giants. This Galtas definitely an issue. Although I can triple block it with my dragons. Let's go Innkeeper, Stomp, Bone Crusher. Then the Innkeeper can also chump if needed, and then Bone Crusher can go in front of Steel Leaf. Alright, put on packs it in. Three dragons per turn is pretty sweet. That's gonna be it for me today. I wanna thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.